Roo, 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 it's Nature Roo. Hello everybody, welcome back to Nature Roo. Now, today, you know, when you're, when you're exploring and you're out and about and you're trying to, to figure out what kind of bird is chirping and singing and whistling, it's always so hard to figure that out or if you see something in a branch or on the ground. But today, we're gonna to install a Merlin app. The Merlin app is an app from eBird. It allows you to be able to try and detect a bird through sound, through a photo. You can upload and it can detect that bird that you're trying to find out what it is. But I love using the app when I'm out and about. And let's see how easy it is to use. And let's do that. So let's get out our phone. I'm on location, so I haven't downloaded on this particular phone. It may take some time, but let's see what happens here. First thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the App Store for your particular phone OS. In this case, I'm using an iPhone. Let's find Merlin and Bird ID. Okay, so let's, here it is here. I found it. Now let's install it. Let's download it. Uh-oh, may take a while. Since this phone doesn't particularly have a data plan, I'm just using a spare iPhone. This may take some time, so what I'll do is I'll just fast forward until it's finished so you don't have to watch this process. Just completed. Let's open that up. All right, I'm gonna just put in my email. Actually, you can skip, I'll skip this step. This view suggested. It's going to probably pick one that's closest to my region. Allow while using the app. Sure, let's install it. Okay. Allow notifications. Now, you may want to do this at home, <laughs> not on the road, but it's going to be so much fun to pick up what is actually singing and whistling out there and just tripping along. So again, I'll just wait for this to finish and I'll be right back. Now it's installing. All right, installed. We can start using it now. So let's start using Bird ID. Current location. Yep, that's the date. Let's go next. Actually, I want to do... So now, let's go back. So now that we downloaded our pack, let's go in and identify. So here are your options. You have the option to do a sound. There's a step-by-step. -step. We'll walk you through the size of the bird. And if it was on the ground, on a branch, in the water, and then you could just kind of narrow down your bird list that way, or photo. For me, if you can hear the bird, I love using Sound ID. I guess that's why they make it such a prominent button. It's huge, and I guess that's what they want you to use is sound. So let's just try sound. And then later we'll take a photo of, there's kind of, kind of like the ducks behind me here. We'll take a photo and see how well it does. So let's do sound. And let's continue. So Merlin can help you learn bird sounds. All right, let's do it. Continue. Identify birds by sound is tricky. Some birds very similar can trick Merlin and birders. Okay, the best way to learn sounds is to see the bird that is vocalizing. Okay, so that sounds good. The suggestion for Merlin is just to start. So basically what it's saying here may not be 100% accurate, but in my finding, it's really good. So let's go. It wants to use your microphone, so let's allow it. And now it's listening. So now I'll put it on this side. Let's see what's around here. All right, chestnut back chickadee. You'll see from my other videos, that's one of my favorite little birds. Let's see what else we can hear. I'll be quiet. So depending on where you're at, you may see some activity of birds. I guess I'm in a quiet location and I have a lot of quiet ducks. Oh, there we go, we picked up a duck. First duck on the list is a wood duck. The 
Here's a song sparrow. A yellow rumped wobbler. I don't think I've ever seen those here, but I hope that's accurate. So now what the map software does is it uses your region to figure out, well, what species of birds are around you. It's typically not going to pick out a really rare bird that's not in the area. But let's see. Let's see what else we can get. I'll give it a few more minutes here. And see how it highlights the birds which are currently singing so you know what it is if it's already on the list. Alright, now the next thing I want to try is let's do a photo. So let's stop this. Okay. Alright, now let's identify again. This time let's take a photo. Let's take a photo. I see a duck close by, so let's go take a photo. Hello? Let's... Maybe what I'll do is this way. Let's see. Let's do two times. Let's see if I can get one in the picture here. Mm. Okay, they're all in the water. Let's see if I can get this one. Alright, let's take a snapshot of that. Now I use the optical zoom, or, and a bit of the digital zoom. So as you know, digital zoom is not the clearest, but let's use this photo. Let's actually, can we zoom in? No, we can't. So let's just use this one. Hello? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, so that's the area. That was the date. Let's identify. Boom. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yep, it's a mallard. There's a female and a male right down over there. So perfect. Isn't that amazing? That's so cool. So you have a few options here. You could do it by sound. You could do it by photo. And the last one, you can do it by step by step. So let's say, okay, let's say, you know, I'm always going to be biased to a little chickadee, but let's say it's not a chestnut back, but a black cat. So let's see if I can get a black cat chickadee. I did see one earlier, so let's see what happens. So let's go step by step. Current location. Today, it's a small bird. Sparrow sized, yeah. Okay, what color is that? It's black. It's got a bit of brown. And some white. Let's try those three colors. Let's say it was in the trees, because they love hanging out in trees. Let's see what it comes up with. All right, we got the chestnut back, which is my favorite chickadee. They're so friendly. We got all these ones. We got a fox sparrow, which I did see a fox sparrow, a song sparrow. There we go, black cat chickadee. Maybe I should have picked a bit of gray, but here we go, picked it and done. And then you can say, this is my bird and it'll keep a track of your life list. So let's go back and let's see. And there's my life list. Let's go into this. Oh, it didn't, oh, I see. So you need to create an account to have a life list. But what life list allows you to do is keep track of all the birds that you've encountered in your journey. So I hope you like this little quick tutorial on how you use the amazing Merlin ID. It's all done through sound and photos and a wizard. So I hope you enjoyed that. Until next time, thank you.